In the last video session, we have discussed about the concept of working cavity. Now, this video is a further step with the same topic of working cavity management. In this video, we'll talk about the investment in working capital management and the financing for working capital management. So every firm needs to invest in a working capital for the smooth running of operating cycle and for uninterrupted business. The reason behind this for the unanticipated delays in obtaining the inventory or unexpected increasing demand of the product or the change in credit policies and others. Now there are three policies related to working capital investment. The, the first line, we will start from the very above line. And the green line represents the policy C which stands for conservative policy. So as the name suggests conservative means the person is not very free or very ready to take the risk. So he, he would like to be on the safer side always. So conservative policy says that these types of firms always invest much higher amount in working capital than what is required actually. So they always maintain the higher level of current assets in a company. Now policy D indicates the moderate policy. Moderate policy as the name suggests, it does not maintain the high, very high level of current assets nor very lower level of current assets. They use to keep the 50-50 of the like stable uh, level of current assets. Now policy A indicates aggressive policy for investment in working capital. They said they believe in uh, they believe in as and when the working capital required they will they will arrange the working capital on the basis of finance. So they used to maintain the very lower level of current assets. Now, even if the firm is having a sufficient uh, current assets, sometimes the firm also needs to get financed some current assets. So here in this graph, we can see the assets, the level of assets. The very bottom shows the fixed assets and Above that, permanent current assets in the sense which is always required a minimum amount of working capital it actually which always required to run the business. And this fluctuating current assets are temporary which actually this required if the demand of the product increase or like we have already discussed the delays in invent receiving of inventory so we have to keep a stock more than what is required so this represents the total asset of current uh, total assets now the first financing approach is matching approach so as we can as we can see in the graph the graph is same except these two brackets so these brackets represents the financing approach of assets so here in this matching approach, they, they, they represent that the fixed assets and the permanent current assets should be get financed through long term debt plus equity capital and the temporary assets or fluctuating assets should finance through short term debt. Conservative approach, they as they are not ready to take risk. They always want to be on the safer side. So they are saying that the fixed assets, permanent current assets plus a portion of fluctuating current assets should be financed through long term debt and equity capital. And only a left portion of fluctuating current assets should be get financed through short term debt. Now aggressive approach as they are very you can say we can say that these firms are very overconfident 
they have the confidence that as and when the assets required they will be able to arrange finance for that so they believe in financing permanent current asset fixed asset through long term debt and equity capital and the portion of permanent current assets plus temporary assets to short term debt that's it for this video